Republicans are ready to cast their next movie, 2012, the sequel. They've got a script. Now, I've listened carefully to the president's speech that night. I think it is the boldest effort to create a European socialist model we have seen. But who's the lead? George W. Bush, Dick Cheney, John McCain? Their last pictures bombed. John Boehner, Mitch McConnell, they're minority leaders, bit players. The CNN poll conducted by the Opinion Research Corporation asked Republicans who they like best for their party's 2012 nomination. There's no clear frontrunner among the three best-known contenders. Sarah Palin, whose debut was a little bumpy. You travel this road in life, and as you turn a corner, and there may be something there that uh, circumstances change, you got to call an audible, and you decide to uh, shift gears, take another direction. I'm always open for that. Mike Huckabee, who's got some good lines. 1,100-page bill that nobody read actually did have a title. It's the name of a movie. Confessions of a Shopaholic. <laughs> and Mitt Romney, who looks like a leading man. I'm going to do my very best to, uh, to help the Republicans across the nation uh, reestablish a, a balance of power in Washington. How about casting a minority? Governor Bobby Jindal of Louisiana. Oops, his screen test didn't go so well. Our party is determined to regain your trust. Some Democrats already know who they want to cast as the Republicans' leading man. He's featured in a new ad being run by Americans United for Change. So who are Republican leaders listening to? I want him to fail. Can a picture do well even if it doesn't have a well-known star in the lead? Maybe. Slumdog Millionaire just won the Academy Award. Bill Schneider, CNN, Los Angeles.